Hello Mila, hello Jack. Welcome to Storytime with Grandad. Hello everybody else who's watching. Today's book is from Pingu and it's Pinga Gets Lost. I've got a lot to do today, Pingu, said his mum. Will you take your sister with you when you go out to play? Be sure not to come home late. Pingu met his friend Pingo in the park. Shall we play leapfrog, suggested Pingo. I want to play too, said Pinga. You're too little, said Pingu. But Pinga insisted, and eventually they let her join in. Soon all three of them grew bored of the game. Let's... Have a sliding race now, said Pingu. Pinga sat on the sled, watching them as they began sliding along the track. Pingu and Pingo had such a good time, they forgot all about Pinga and were soon a very long way from the sledge. By the time they returned, the sledge was empty. Pinga had disappeared. Pinga! Pinga! They called as they searched for her everywhere, but Pinga was nowhere to be found. We've got to find her, cried Pingu. How can I possibly go home without my little sister? By now it was beginning to get dark. Suddenly Pingu saw Pinga's red scarf and a trail of small footprints leading into a deep, dark crevasse. Oh no, sobbed Pingu. Pingo shouted into the crevasse. Pinga, Pinga, are you there? Answer me, please. There was no reply. Pingu, we must run and tell your parents straight away, said Pingo. It was very late by now as the two dejected little penguins made their way back to the village. Pingu and Pingo were in tears as Pingu's mum opened the door. Mum, we've lost Pinga, sobbed Pingu, hardly able to speak. Nonsense, said his mum. She's having her supper. Come inside and look. Pingu and Pingo couldn't believe their eyes. Pingu was furious. He ran at her, shouting, We've been out there looking for you all afternoon, and all that time you've been here. You were to blame too, scolded his mum. You should have looked after her better. Pingu felt ashamed. But one thing was certain, and that was that he would certainly look after his sister better in future. The end. Goodbye, Mila. Goodbye, Jack. I'll see you soon. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.